the vet. To be a successful and competent vet needs knowledge exceedingly wide for each of the patients he is likely to get possesses a different insight. The vet. He must know why the cat is refusing her milk, why the dog is not eating his bone, why the coat of the horse is not shining like silk, why the parrot does nothing but groan, why the ducks and chickens are failing to lay, why so faint the canary bird sings, And if he is called to the zoo, he must say an incredible number of things. If the lions caught a cold, if the zebra is getting old, if the centipede has trouble with his feet, if the hippo is feeling ill, if the bison's got a chill, if the arctic fox is suffering from heat. If some virulent disease has attacked the chimpanzees, if the tortoise hasn't stirred for several years, if the bear's too full of buns, if the cobra eats her sons, if the panther has a wife who chooses years. If giraffes have had a tiff and their necks are feeling stiff, if hyenas will not laugh at keeper's jokes, if the monkeys pinched his tail, if the rhino's looking pale, if the elephant eats paper bags and chokes, if the camel hurts his hump, if the kangaroo won't jump, if the crocodile turns cannibal and bites, they run away and get that omniscient the vet and expect him to put everything to rights. Profoundly I pity the wet, who must learn such a very great deal for his pay. My son, I advise you most strongly to earn your living an easier way. Don't attempt to attend the zoological crowd. A far more advisable plan is to call yourself doctor and so be allowed to treat the illnesses of man.